it's so good to see you. So today, I'm going to do another video of the, it's like a shopping haul part two, like grocery shopping, but it's like a review. So it's like, um, an empties review or something. I don't know. I did a video like this back in September or October. I think it was called like, let's talk trash. <laughs> Because I'm showing you the things that I have bought and then I'm telling you what I really think about them and stuff like that So if they're worth buying that kind of thing So I just got a bunch of like everything that I've had in the last month or two Some things are good some things are bad So I'll let you know about it. Okay So the first thing I think this was on the, the thumbnail this I got this at H-E-B, but I'm pretty sure you can get it at other stores, too. Uh, I don't know what this is called. Tesoro? Tesoro? Vanilla cream. It's a cream-filled puff pastry. I don't know why I got it. I think I was just looking for something sweet and something different. And they had this on the, I don't know, like cracker and cookie aisle at H-E-B. And I was just like, that's new. It looks different. I don't know if it's Italian. Yeah. I was thinking because this looks like the Italian flag colors. But yeah, it says, uh, Premium pastries baked in Italy since 1905. Oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie. This package was gone in one day. I couldn't stop eating them. They were so good. My kids liked them. I'm not sure if my husband liked it. I'm pretty sure I gave him one and he was like, yeah, it's okay. But I was like, are you kidding me? Oh my God. So it's like this little, it's not like the puff pastry that you, you know, like you can buy puff pastry at the store or whatever. And it's still kind of doughy, not doughy, but I don't know. This puff pastry is more crunchy, I guess. I don't know, but it's like coated in this sugar glaze that's hardened it. And it's not this big. It's a little bit smaller than that. It's maybe like a quarter, maybe a little bit bigger than a quarter. And it's got, it's, it, it's not just cream. It's like Bavarian cream. Okay. And when you put it in your mouth, cause you can't really bite into it. It's too small for that. It's like one of those like you just pop it in your mouth type things and at first the first one I got I chewed and I was like hmm, I don't know I like that it was good but the second one I put it in my mouth and then I just pushed my tongue up against the roof of my mouth and like it just crumbled and it like exploded with the cream oh my god it was like addicting it tasted great but the little crunch part where you just crumble it. Oh, it was perfect. Perfect. Whatever this is, find it and try it and do that thing where I'm just like, oh, it is so good. It's so good. It's delicious. And it is not that bad. Four pieces, 180 calories. I thought it would be worse. I don't know how many pieces were in here, but I definitely ate them all. I mean, I shared, obviously, but we ate them all real fast. So good. So good. Okay. Uh, all right. The next thing I did not buy, but my mom bought. this magic is. 
Okay, so I'm pretty sure that she got it on QVC. Um, but when things are featured on QVC, they also have a website. Not QVC, but the company. They have a website you go to and order it, I think. But usually at QVC, you get like a discount or something. Um, but this is Bayer's, Bowers, I don't know what that says, Candies. Original Majets. Majeska's. This is a caramel marshmallow thing, okay? It is soft, buttery, and handcrafted with rich cream. There's eight ounces in here, obviously, and it's all gone. Um, but they do it by weight, so it's like sometimes you get 11 pieces or 12 or whatever. Anyway, this I wish I still had one so that I could show it to you, but it was so good that I, I couldn't not eat it. <laughs> I could not eat it. It was amazing, amazing. So you gotta get this. It's like, it's a huge, like, I don't even know how to describe it. It's like, it's quite large, like maybe an inch and a half square, okay? And it is... There's a square marshmallow on the inside, but it's like the best marshmallow you've ever had. Ever. Okay? And it's coated in this amazing caramel. Better than any caramel I've ever had in my life. And it's it's not too chewy. It's not too it's like it's not too hard. It's not too soft. It's just perfect. Okay? is perfect and I ate some of them and then I put the rest in the refrigerator so that it could make it more chewy I guess I am very upset that these are gone I actually got two of them this is just the regular caramel marshmallow this one was my favorite the other one was raspberry white chocolate it was so my mom had ordered two for like Christmas to give to her sisters and she bought extra obviously so she gave me some yay thanks mom uh, but she actually ordered cherry caramel cherry and they never sent her the caramel cherry they sent her the raspberry white chocolate so they messed up her order but oh my god I wish I could have tried the cherry mm, I can't even imagine what that would taste like. Oh. Anyway, so if you see these anywhere or if you just want to have the best caramel in your life, even if you don't like marshmallow, you'll like this. I, it, it's strange that they don't have a website on here, so I don't know. I'm, and I have no idea how much they are. But however much they are, they're totally worth it. They're just fantastic. Okay, the next thing is a vitamin. This is, I guess, glow? I don't know. This is Vita Hustle. I bought it because I liked the bottle, okay? But these are beauty gummies. I don't like taking pills. I have to take enough pills for stupid MS stuff. Uh, so I don't like pills. So I try to get my vitamins in gummy form just because pills, right? Uh, but this is Beauty Gummies. This is biotin, biotin, yeah, collagen, vitamin C, uh, non-dairy, gluten-free, soy-free, and it is strawberry colada flavor. It had 50 gummies in it, and it says, Vita Hustle Beauty Gummies support beautiful hair, skin, and nails with our daily collagen and biotin gummy vitamins. You're supposed to take two of these a day, so it'll last like 25 days. Uh, yeah, it says chew thoroughly before swallowing for optimal bioavailability. I don't know. Anyway, I bought it because I usually get the other one. There's another pink bottle that's like hair, nails, and skin. I can't think of it. Maybe it's like Spring Valley or... 
I don't know if that's what it's called. But they didn't have it, so I got this because I was like, ooh, this looks really cool. And I always get two, one for me, one for my daughter. And I freaking hated these. They were disgusting. Okay, like, they were the kind of gummy, like, they, they shouldn't say gummies. It, it was that weird, hard gel. And you had to have two of them, okay? But I had to force myself to take them because I'm not going to buy this and then just throw it away. That's like a waste, like, I'm not going to waste the money like that, you know? The strawberry colada flavor, disgusting. And for some reason, they were also sour. It didn't say nothing about sour. And I was like, is this expired? Like, what did I do? No, it it doesn't expire until December of 2024. These were disgusting. So if you see them, don't. <laughs> There are other options. This is not one of them. This is disgusting. Ugh. Okay. Uh, the next thing I got is a little snack. A little snacky snack. This is by Dole. It is Good Crunch Pineapple Bites Original. This is the greatest thing that has ever been invented. Maybe I should get this for like our next neighborhood gossip or something and I can eat this as a snack. Because mm -hmm. I will eat the whole bag. It says, oh no, serving size is one bag, so cool. Uh, but maybe I'll get a bunch and like put them in a bowl. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I'm starting to get hungry, so I haven't eaten today yet. But I'm remembering how delicious these were oh my god it's like it's almost like freeze dried or something i don't know if it's freeze dried or not but it's a planet positive snack so that's good i don't know what that means but it's good for the planet i don't know okay so one bag 150 calories okay it uh says since our humble yet mission driven beginnings almost 170 years ago we continue to believe that healthy good tasting food made from the goodness of nature should be available to all just like sunshine we're bringing you a plant positive snack that is irresistibly crunchy bursting with flavor and totally munchable all that is fact but that isn't the only good thing about it it's got good taste good nutrition it's good for the planet how is it good for the planet we use solar energy to power our drying process which lowers the co2 contribution to the air it's good for people good for production with less waste amazing and it's nothing like they don't put anything on it it's just pineapple now it says pineapple bites original i think they have another one that's got like some kind of spice on it, like chili or something. I don't know. But like, what? <sighs> so good. So good. So good. Definitely try it. I don't like the apple ones. They did have, the apple ones were alright, but those were way better. Okay, the next thing that I have... something I use all the time. This is by Bausch and Lahm, and it is Bio True Multipurpose Solution. I don't know what the other stuff is for, but I wear contacts. Not all the time, but I wear glasses a lot, but I try not to wear glasses in videos because of the glare. The glare, like, drives me insane sometimes like when i'm tired or whatever i'll wear i think i've got like 
a handful of videos where I wear glasses, but I like wearing contacts because I like freedom on my face, you know. <laughs> uh, but this is my all-time favorite contact solution because it's like real tears, so it's like healthy for the contact or something. I don't know, but it's amazing. It it really is. Like I can tell a difference. I don't know. Anyway, but this is a let's see, it's up to. 20 hours of hydration, I guess, yeah, enhanced with HA, a natural moisturizer, it conditions, cleans, removes protein, disinfects, uh, rinses, restores for soft contact lenses, including silicone hydro gel. What does it say? It says, we believe that the best inspiration comes from nature. That's why our formula is inspired by the biology of the eye. It's like real tears or something. Yeah. H-A hot whatever the, that says. Uh, found naturally in tears. Amazing. I like this more than anything else. And the big ones. I like getting the big ones too, but I... I only get the big ones like every other time I need this because the big ones come with a uh, new contact case. So I think that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see. The next thing is Velveeta. I have recently discovered that Velveeta sells just the Velveeta cheese sauce packages. I didn't know that until a couple months ago. Holy bananas. This is amazing. <laughs> amazing. Because Velveeta itself is like really hard to cut and stuff. And then like when you add it to things, uh, sometimes you have to add milk because it gets too thick. And, you know, whatever. Um, but this is cool because you can make, if you like Velveeta shells and cheese, you can make Velveeta cheese sauce. Because it's the same cheese sauce that comes in the Velveeta shells and cheese. Uh, you can put it on anything, like angel hair, linguine, whatever. And like you can add broccoli or whatever vegetables. You can put it in casseroles, like what? And I like to put red pepper like on everything to make it like this spicy flavor. This is the greatest invention. Good job, Velveeta. Okay. Uh, I have another cheese thing. <laughs> this is by Lucos, I guess. Family owned since 1909. Speak cheesy, smile easy, nacho cheese sauce. Fun foods for a fun world. And it's microwavable. Ooh, I didn't know that. I guess I should read labels more often. I did not know that it was microwavable. And it says it right on the front. Um, but it's it's just these little, like, cups. Oh, and it, it is a little spicy. They do sell some that have no spice. Um, but my daughter likes spicy. Um, but a couple of months, I think it was like at the Barbie movie, my daughter got nachos and they had like this little cheese thingy and she was like, I wish I could have nachos like that, you know, like whatever. So I found these at the store. It's actually by the Velveeta and stuff like that. Um, and it, it's almost like a pudding cup. You, you peel the top off and it's just there ready to go and you can, I guess, heat it in the microwave. So if you want it hot, um, but sometimes I pack this uh, as a lunch for my daughter. Like, I'll put one of these little things in there. And then I'll fill up her little Tupperware thing of little mini Tostitos. And so she can just have nachos for lunch if she wants. Which she loves. So, yeah. That's really cool. Another cool thing that I like, and it's so boring these. These are the greatest invention ever. They really are. Okay, because if you have kids, or if you have kids in the future, yes, 
my kids floss every day, but I didn't know about these. I didn't, I didn't really know about them. I just used to buy the floss and the, the little things and you peel it out and cut it and trying to get a kid to get in between every teeth, top and bottom with one string and get their hands in there. It's like really difficult. Okay. This is like so easy and fast and they floss every single day because these are so easy. Now they do have a double. They've got, my daughter gets the, I think it's called like twin line. Um, cause that really like gets them super clean. But my son, he has crowns. So he, he can't have the two lines pulling, you know, cause I don't know. But the dentist said that this one is okay. Uh, so anyway. These are amazing and they're super easy and they've got like this little pick if you get something stuck in your teeth. I don't know why you would use the pick because why wouldn't you just use the floss to get the thing out? I don't know. But super amazing invention and I love it. Okay. Let's see. The next thing that we get quite often Is this this Caesar's Caesar's simply crafted my dog Ava the princess that she is is allergic to everything everything in the world she has to have special dog food and she can only have a limited amount of treats those treats that we got her for Christmas or I'm sorry that Santa got her for Christmas she can't have them. Even though they were the most healthy snack that I could find, no. She couldn't have them. So I'm going to have to like start putting this stuff in her Easter basket and stocking. Yeah, that's right. I give my puppy things for each holiday because <laughs> she's like a baby. She's a baby to me, so she deserves to get special treats too, right? Anyway, but because she's allergic to everything, she has to eat a certain healthy, digestive, like hard, whatever. But every once in a while, I will give her one of these for a special like dinner treat or whatever. Um, there's just these little packets and there's nothing in them. Like there's no weird preservatives or anything like that. It's literally just chicken, um, and vegetables. And it, like it, it smells good. <laughs> like, if I was forced for some reason to eat dog food, I would want this because it's, it smells good. And it, it's just, I don't know how, you know, like I don't, it's, all it is is chicken, carrots, peas, potatoes. That's it. Those are the ingredients. There's nothing else in there. You know, this one has chicken, sweet potatoes, apples, water, barley, and spinach. How is that not people food? I think it is. <laughs> but it's very clean and healthy things that are good for digestion and stuff. And she can actually eat it. Um, and she doesn't get sick. She doesn't have issues with her tummy. Nothing. So we get this a lot. So if you have a pet that has a highly, highly sensitive digestive system and is allergic to everything. These are perfect, perfect. Okay, ooh, this next thing is amazing and I had never heard of it before. Pierogies, okay. I've never seen these, I've never heard of them. So, I was at HEB and my mother-in-law was there and she was like, you should get some pierogies. And I was like, what? No, I don't, I don't like that word because I don't know what it is. I don't like change or new things, you know? And she was like, look, trust me, I'll buy them for you. Just when you get home, saute them in butter and that's it. Just eat them. And I'm like, what is a pierogi? Okay. And she said there's, it, it's like a, it's like a dumpling or like, 
a ravioli, okay, that's filled with potatoes. But this is four cheese medley. So it's got aged cheddar, Parmesan, Romano, and Swiss cheeses, and creamy whipped potatoes wrapped in tender pasta. That sounds disgusting to me. Okay, like, no. No, thank you. Mm -mm. So I, I brought this home, and I did exactly what she said, because my mother-in-law knows what she's talking about with food, okay? I put a little bit of butter in a pan, and I poured them in there, sautéed them. They turned out, you could cook them until they're doughy, like, like pasta, like ravioli, and then put, like, some sauce on them if you want, like, eat them like ravioli. Or you can saute them until they are, like, toasted on the outside. And then they're, like, these little crispy little, little hot pocket type things, you know? And you just eat them. You, you don't need to dip them in anything. You can, but these are the greatest things that I've ever eaten. And I was real, like, worried because I made it for a dinner, you know? And, like, the kids, they don't. They don't like change either, you know? And I was like, let's just try it. Grandma was talking about this, so let's let's just do it for Grandma, you know? So we all tried it at the same time, and we were like, oh, what is this magic? I don't know what... Who invented pierogies, what, what this is, but it's magic, okay? And it's not like you're eating, like... I don't know, when I think of potatoes, I think of mashed potatoes and gravy and vegetables and like, you know, other people would have like, I don't know, chicken or fish or I don't know what people eat, but this isn't like that. This is like a thing that you just eat on its own and you're like satisfied and it's like nice and warm in your tummy and it's just a feel good type of meal, okay? It's fantastic, but they do give you like options. They're like, you can do all kinds of things with these. You can dip them in queso, salsa, sour cream, marinara sauce. You can create appetizers with them, bacon wrapped, uh, loaded pierogi fries. I guess you can cook them in the air fryer. I feel like it says, oh yeah, look at all these different ways to cook them. Okay, uh, make it better. Salad topping? I don't know about that. Soups? Oh, oh my god. I bet this would be great dip, dipped in any kind of soup, like to, creamy tomato basil soup or broccoli and cheese soup. Oh, oh my god, so fat. Stews, chili recipe, snack time after school, after practice, before dinner, anytime. You can't have this before dinner. You can't have this as a snack. This is a full-blown meal, okay? Because you can't just have one. You have to eat them all. <laughs> but man, with soup? I think I might have to make that next week. Amazing. If you haven't, if you haven't tried those, and you're looking to try a new food or something, just give that a try and do what the directions say you will not be disappointed okay the next thing that we have is barilla oven ready lasagna no boiling required oh my gosh this is fantastic okay it makes cooking lasagna so easy. So easy and fast and like, I don't even care what's in it. I'm sure there's probably cancer in it. Who cares? It's amazing. <laughs> it's the greatest invention ever. And it reminds me of this story. I read this book and, oh, what was it called? What is it called? I have no idea what it's called, but it's by Priscilla Presley, and I think it's a book that she wrote after he died, like in the 80s or something. I think that they 
just made a movie based off of the book. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it, but once it comes out on streaming, I'm totally gonna watch it. But the book, because I'm obsessed with Elvis, you know, and so I wanted his wife's point of view of their life together or something. I think it's called like Me and Elvis or Elvis and Me, something like that. Uh, but there's a story in it, and I just thought it was so funny. So she was at Graceland. And it was her first time to, like, make a meal for his, I don't want to say his family, but it was, like, his entourage, his friends, his people that he had around, you know. And he, uh, she, she wanted to feel like a, a housewife, you know. So she invited everybody over for dinner, and she was making lasagna. And it took her a long time. She was very worried about it. She kept calling her mom back in France or Germany or something and uh, she was like you know making sure she had everything right and she was very very nervous about it so she everybody was sitting down at dinner and Elvis is like okay well, let's eat you know and uh, so she goes to cut the lasagna and then she hears crunch and she's like oh no she forgot to cook the noodles, okay? She was worried about the sauce flavor and the meat and all that stuff that she forgot to cook the noodles. And she was devastated and embarrassed. Like, oh my God. And Elvis saw that look on her face and he served everyone and he was like, eat up everyone. And like... I don't know, he was just like, everyone is going to eat this because Priscilla worked very hard on this. So if you don't eat it, I'll kill you. So everyone ate it, everyone ate it. And then years later, people who were at that dinner would like bring up like, are we having the lasagna for dinner? Like as an inside joke, you know, and she's like, oh my God. But can you imagine, they should have had this back in the seventies or sixties or whatever that was, but she really could have used this. But it's amazing. It's such a time saver. Okay. Uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you is just something that I absolutely love. Absolutely love. And I try not to buy this. Like every week I walk by the little cookie aisle and I'm just like, don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. But every once in a while, I do it. This is by Pepperidge Farm, and this is Pirouette. Is that how you say that? Pirouette? I don't know. They are French vanilla, flavored with other natural flavors. Uh, let's see. It says delicate pastry-like rolled wafer with luscious, creamy filling. What's not to love? Yep. They also have these, like, in chocolate and dark chocolate or fudge or something like that. Mm -mm. This is the way to go. French vanilla. I love anything vanilla flavor, but French vanilla. <sighs> Baby. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. These little wafer things, they just like... I think it's another texture thing, like that puff pastry thing at the very beginning. It's like... I like, I like the way that crunch collapsing feeling... I don't know, and then you get this delicious, just basic, pure sugar, this French vanilla flavored. Oh my god. It comes with so many, uh, it says, okay, so there's two wafers, and there's 15 servings, so I guess there's like 30 in here, but they package them in two bags, uh, so they're like, okay, calm down, only eat this much. They try and restrict me, you know. But it's like, once that one bag is open, I have to eat it, you know? It's like, you can't just have two. What kind of person can just have two of these? A psychopath, okay? Because you have to eat, like, all of them. Which is why, every time I go on the cookie, I'm like, don't do it. Don't do it. Because I'm going to eat them all real, real fast. Okay. The next thing that we have is hair dye. This 
is John Frieda Precision Foam Color. Okay, I don't dye my hair. I used to dye my hair all the time. Uh, and I used the foam color precision thing because I love it. But I don't dye my hair anymore because I want... I want to have, like, the old lady hair. Like, I, that's my dream, is to just turn into an old lady. I don't know why, it just is. But I'm, like, I'm slowly getting, like, gray, not gray hair, it's white hair. I'm slowly getting white hairs. And when my hair turns, it's gonna be, boo, white. Like, blinding white. And I'm so excited about it, so I don't want to dye my hair. Most people are like, oh my god, I have gray hair. Ugh, not me. I'm like, yes, please, yes, please. And I don't know why. Um, but I got this for my daughter because she wanted to dye her hair. Uh, she did have, I did highlight her hair over the summer. Um, but for the fall, she wanted more dark reddish color. So we got her this. This is Radiant Red 3VR Deep Cherry Brown. And it is a thick foam for deep color saturation. I love the foam because you can see where it goes, you know, and it, yeah, it says Loxin rich salon quality color. It really is. It's like, it's so good. It, this is like the best hair dye ever and it doesn't damage your hair. It makes your hair look so healthy and good and it gives it the shine Oh, it, does, it colors gray. It's 100% gray coverage, and it's no drip. That's another thing. No drip. I hate when you dye your hair and you have this liquid stuff. It's just, like, dripping. Ugh. This foam, it, like, stays where you put it. And, um, yeah, it's a flawless color. No unwanted patches or whatever. Let's see, it says, our thick, rich foam penetrates strands for deep color saturation that locks in rich color, giving you a fade-resistant salon, salon quality results. This non-drip formula spreads quickly and easily into roots and hard-to-reach places, giving you complete coverage without patchiness. The result, natural-looking salon quality color. Our nourishing after-color conditioner seals in color for long-lasting tonal richness. And then it shows you, like, what your hair looks like now, what it'll look like after. Um, I can't imagine what it would look like on, like, blonde hair. I feel like they're not, they don't recommend this for blonde hair. Because, uh, like, I think it would be, like, red, you know, but... I mean, if that's what you want on red hair, your color results will be soft black. If you have red hair, it'll turn your hair black. That's interesting. Sorry if you can hear my stomach. I'm getting very hungry. But anyway, this is all really great. So if you are thinking about dyeing your hair, but you don't want to go to the salon, and you're worried about box colors, like, because some, some brands they're not the best and they will change your hair color like my mother-in-law one year uh she she's got like like a lot of gray and whatever and i'm like she she dyes it sometimes i'm like why i love it uh, but she's got this one patch where it's just bam everything else is black and then boom. Uh, but she was dyeing her hair one time like i guess brown or whatever and the color did not go well, and her hair was literally blue. I don't know what brand she used, but it was blue. And I was like, girl, rock that blue. <laughs> she had to go to church with blue hair, and she was so like, oh my gosh, you know, but I was like, leave it, it's so cool. But she didn't, she fixed it. Uh, but anyway, this brand does not give you blue or green or whatever color hair. It's really, really good. I like it, so I highly recommend it. Okay, and the last thing, the last thing is one of my major guilty pleasures. Oh, so good. Strupofel. That's how I say it. Strupofel. <laughs> it's a strupofel. Uh, 
um, but this is a Dutch waffle filled, car uh, Dutch waffle caramel filled cookie, traditional recipe, warm it up with coffee. So like you can make coffee and then set it on top and it makes the caramel more gooey and like warm, but I don't do that. I like it to be real tough and chewy. Uh, so sometimes I'll even put it in the refrigerator. It's real hard to eat then. Like, real hard. If I ever have to get dentures, I'm screwed. Because, like, there's no way you'll be able to chew super chewy hard things. Oh my god, what does this say? It says, eat out of the package. Yes. Warm up on top of a hot beverage. Use as a topping for your ice cream. Use to create the best s'mores ever. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh my god, two of those with marshmallows and chocolate? <sighs> I think I just gained 10 more pounds. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, can you imagine one s'more? Does my stomach, sorry. One s'more. Okay, so you get two of these. That's already 300 calories. Plus the marshmallow, plus the chocolate. Oh, I bet that would be so good. Now I want that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Those are so good. Now I have all these like fat plants in my brain. <laughs> anyway, so I really hope that you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon.